Australia has a new synthetic drug on the market, and it's known as White Bull. It's supposed to mimic the same uh, symptoms that you feel after you take uh, cocaine, and uh, this is It's disastrous. already trouble. I yeah. mean, the, look, you don't have to tell me anything else. It's called White Bull. It's a new synthetic drug. This is nothing but trouble. All right, so tell me about the devastating consequences. All right, so according to uh, one sales associate at an adult store in Australia, he says, the feeling is that of cocaine, speed, ecstasy, meaning it keeps you awake, a bit horny, and somehow sets a disco beat rocking in your head. It also makes your heart beat faster and put a hot glow that suggests one's thermoregulation system is out of whack. So far, not so bad. Some so, upsides, some downsides, so, but I'm, so I'm digging some of that. So far, it just sounds like there are upsides. I haven't read about the downsides yet, but that's because this is a new synthetic drug that hit the market. Um, but the reason why I'm bringing this story up is because I didn't put two and two together when synthetic drugs kind of came into the news. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, it's because we've criminalized so many different types of drugs that people are looking for the next high that is legal, that they mm -hmm. won't get prosecuted for. But here's another reason why these adult stores are selling it. DVD sales are down because of the fact that people are now going to the internet to watch pornography. Mm -hmm. So Is these, that what's happening? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Can you believe they, that? They have porn on the internet? I didn't know that. Okay. So what's happening is these adult stores are trying to make up for lost revenue by selling these synthetic drugs. And people are snatching them up, snatching them up like hotcakes. They were snatching something else up in those stores before, and <laughs> now they're snatching this up. Exactly. Okay, that's interesting. So look, they get, that's true. They got to pay the rent, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is not a positive development. Look, he, here's the thing. We know what pot does. If we uh, legalized it and regulated it, a, along with a lot of the other drugs, well, we know what we're getting. But once they start playing around with the synthetic stuff, for the reasons that Anna explained. You're opening up a can of worms, man. I mean, look at what bath salts has done. I mean, people's faces are getting eaten all over the country. I know, I know, not necessarily. And the guy in Miami theoretically wasn't on bath salts, but we know he was. Mm -hmm. Okay, so bring down the white bull. Let's just legalize the drugs we already know. <laughs>